Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby. Today I'll be going through the plants I've picked up over the last month or two and you may have seen some of these if you follow me on Instagram and I have briefly mentioned um, a couple in a previous video from last week um, but I'm going to be showing you um, the plants I picked up and where I picked them up from and also prices if I can remember. And before we get into the video don't forget to like it if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more planty content from myself. So I'll probably try to go through the plants I picked up in order. So the one that I bought um, the longest time ago and we'll come up to the newest. Um, so I think the first one I'm going to show you is actually a, a duplicate. I already had this plant. Um, it's I just I always think the prices from this person are really good. So I was placing an order anyway and I really like my other one. So I just picked up another. Um, so it's this Hoya Memoria. Um, it's, I personally really like the way it grows. Um, so you can see all the red leaves here are the newer um, newer growth points under my grow light. And I really like the way it looks. So I really wanted to pick another one up. And having had this under the grow light, I know how quick the other one grew as well. So this one has started to push out its kind of like tendrils as well and new growth really quickly. Um, so yeah, I picked up another one. I'm really pleased with it. I think this one was, um, I think it was £4.80 or something, um, something really cheap. Um, and I did pot this one up straight into terracotta um, just because when it arrived, I think I remember it being like the soil everywhere and it needed a, a repot. Um, but yes, it's already got lots of new growth. Um, the leaves, like I said, come through like a ready colour, like almost very rubbery as well. Um, but I have kind of bleached out these leaves ever so slightly, not too much. It's not directly under the grow light. Um, but you can probably tell it's quite wrinkly, um, which means it needs a water. And the reason I water this so much, because I watered it maybe, I'd say about two days ago, um, is because it is on the top shelf where my grow light is. So it does dry out really quickly. But that's the first one I picked up. So in the same order, um, I picked up this, the Shudia. Um, I really love it. I think it's so beautiful. I don't think I'm doing very well with it, um, especially like certain like you see certain strands they're not doing well it didn't like it didn't travel well whatsoever um and there are some like dead leaves here at the top but it sits on my shelf and it looks very very pretty um i just there was some breakage i tried to look after those plants and i mean this actually looks like a new leaf which is kind of exciting um but yeah i just even the breakages i thought i could like like propagate but you see how it, um it's kind of like a plant that's like it's quite difficult to propagate it's clearly got the aerial roots but it's a shingling plant so it what it's a bit like the um monstera and dubia um so it like shingles it goes up something or it hangs so propagating the ones that broke didn't really work out for me um which is fine um but yeah i do prefer it like this it's just Half of the plant looks really healthy and then it's like these bits that don't. But I potted it in the soil that it came in because I didn't want to disturb it too much and take it out of the soil. And the soil it came in is almost like a compost. So it's really not the right soil. So I probably made a mistake there by not just come, like getting the roots clean and then repotting it. But nevertheless, it's still beautiful and I just need to give it some TLC. But yeah, that was my dishidia. So the next two are from Ikea. If you've seen that video, you would have seen what I picked up, but I'm just gonna go over very quickly what I got. Um, I got this um, Sansevieria Star. Um, it sits on my computer desk um, where I work from home and I really like it, it's really sweet. Um, it's just in like a like a peat moss kind of thing. It's like a substrate, it's, it's doing okay. I gave it water this morning. Um, yeah, there's nothing really to say about this other than it's really sweet. I really can't remember how much I paid for this. I think I paid three pounds for it, including the pots. So yeah, I think that was like three pounds for this one. Um, it wasn't it wasn't expensive. I think I've already gone over this. I can't remember. I had a call and now I've completely blanked out. <laughs> So the next plant I picked up from Ikea, and again, this is a very quick one because I've already shown this in a previous video, um, which I will link up above, um, is this Enjoy. It's looking like really, really healthy. I feel like it's like grown a bit, um, but I haven't had it for too long. Um, the newer leaves, I think, are coming in a bit smaller. Um, like, 
you can see like the bigger ones here and then this is like one of the newer leaves you see how like this one here it is smaller um, and I've noticed on my other end joy because obviously we know that I have three of these now um, my other end joy the leaves are really really big like the most recent ones are like a huge like bigger than this so I'm okay that these are growing in small I think it's just adjusting um, again I paid mm, I can't remember my memory is so bad I think I paid five pounds um it was really cheap anyway it wasn't like expensive because it was just from ikea but yeah really healthy really pleased with it it sits on top of my wardrobe which isn't like a super tall one it's like a mid-century one so it's shorter um and it's right next to the window so it gets direct sunlight late evenings um obviously the further we go on in the year it will come like sooner so it will get direct light um like early afternoon um but i've always found the plants that have been absolutely fine but i will obviously keep an eye on it but yeah i think it's beautiful and i love it so the next plant is one that i did from um or that i got sorry from a plant swap so it is this plant um it is very very beautiful i really like it um and again i just have this sat in it doesn't like it doesn't need to be in such a large part i might repot it at some stage um but it just sits in this and it literally is just on my plant bench behind me near the window so I've, I've just left it I haven't really done anything to it I've treated it um the other plants that I got on that day um which you would have seen in the last week's video um they didn't survive um obviously the Khalifa didn't survive and I didn't expect it to it was almost like just the it was going to go to waste it was going to go in the bin if no one else took it um so that didn't survive um what i believe was a crouton that didn't survive um there was one other that did which i'll show you so this one is the other one which is a little um calanchoe um a little arm has fallen off um other than that it seems okay um obviously that survived again it's in the wrong kind of like um substrate it's a bit a bit too dry for it um so yeah i'm gonna repot that eventually but like i always say i don't like repotting my plants like as soon as i get them i like them to just acclimatize and just you know chill out a bit before you stress them out and repot them so it's on my to-do list but yeah it's very cute i'll put it in a much smaller plot pot plot <laughs> i'll put it in a much smaller pot and i think it will look really cute if i get a really nice looking one and the same with this one as well much smaller pot Okay, so everything else I'm going to show you from here on out is a lot more exciting because I've not shown them on this channel before. Um, we will start with this one. This one is my philodendron um, brantianum. Um, I I really, 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 really... <laughs> wow, that was a loud sneeze. Um, I really like this. I think... I, I, I love this plant so much um i just i just i'm annoyed with myself basically this was unfurling when i got it so this is only just unfurled unfur this leaf and it's got a new um growth point coming and i don't know if you can see but that was you see how squished it is that was super 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 squished and i i I didn't help it in the sense that I like peeled it out. I literally just touched it and then it snapped. So there's like a like a literally a hole right down here, like a snap thing. And and I think that's the reason why these leaves have um holes in them. Like they've got ever so slight holes in them, and there's one here as well. Um not noticeable, but I think that's the reason why I have holes in them, because as you know, when philodendron grow through they can literally just crush themselves because it would be like what we call a Cinderella slipper. Um, so when that happened yesterday, I literally cried out with like despair and anger with myself because I did it a couple of days ago as well with my um, Tingonium Albo. Um, I actually have that here just chilling. It's never going to root, obviously. But yeah, I snapped this beautiful leaf. And I can't let it go, so that's just in water at the moment with something else I'm obviously going to show you. But yeah, I'm really annoyed with myself. Other than that, it, the plant is lovely. Um, it's it's really, really like shiny and glistening. It's like really silvery. Um, 
the thing that I find really weird, and I know this is normal for philodendron, is, and I don't know what they're called, so I'm really sorry. Um, there's loads of like holes and like sap like things. Can you see all those like dots? That basically um, is normal for philodendron to do, some of them anyway. Um, but it's very, very similar to what a, a leaf would look like if it had like pests. Um, everything that I get from now, as I have said before, I treat with Provonto. I leave it in my bathtub um, until it's finished drying out. And then I don't put it in um, a spot where other plants are for a while. I literally just leave them to kind of like have the time to show any signs of like like pests if they've got them because I don't want to risk that ever again um so yeah it's it's definitely not pests um but it is a bit annoying that that's um that's happened um on well yeah I just I don't know I don't know what it is it's, there's really bad on the new leaf and the other leaves it's not so bad so if anyone does know why that's happening then let me know um it's definitely not overwatered. um it's actually in moss and it came in moss um, and it literally came like this. It didn't come in this, it literally just came like this. So it's obviously grown in moss in a pot for so long that it's kind of like, it's just that way now. The root system's really, really, really substantial. Um, it's just a healthy like plant and the seller on eBay was so lovely. Um, so I picked up this at the time, it was a three leaf cutting with a new growth point which is now fully out which grew in really quickly um, and I paid I think I paid 23 pounds for that and that was on eBay so I love this one it's one of my new favorites so the next plant um I picked up from a local plant shop here called the plant point but they are um they are available to like buy online and they do local delivery as well and I picked up this because um I had this plant and I think I overwatered it, especially because when I went into the plant point, they're very good at giving you like plant care tips when you buy a plant. They will literally make a point out of being like, this is what you have to do with it. And it, it's just really, really helpful. And when she, I was just like, oh, it's okay. I know, how to, I know how to look after it. She was like, you water it maximum three times a year. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that's not what I was doing. I was watering my lithop. Um, probably once a month um which is I know it's really bad but like look at this look how dry that is she was like that's perfectly normal that's that's kind of how they like to be so that explains why mine died um but yeah I picked up these little um lithops um really really pretty I wonder if I can touch the screen and it will does it focus if I do that no we're just gonna have to do this but yeah basically they're little troll butts they're so cute i think they're so cute i love them um and these were five pounds and it was a much larger one um for ten pounds and it was like a much larger pot but maybe in me um i had a ten pound voucher because i won them like a where's wally thing on their like instagram and i don't i don't know i just i, I walked away and I said to my husband, I should have just bought the £10 one because this is going to take years for it to grow. Um, but yeah, I really like them. I think they're so cute. And I might actually much prefer these to the ones that I originally had. The one I originally had was like a, a large single, whereas this is obviously like, with this, but this is obviously like four individuals. So yeah, that's super cute. So the other plant I bought from the plant point as well. And I'll see if I can put some like pictures on the screen. I think I took some for my Instagram stories. Like, like this shop is the most incredible, like just it, literally like you walk into this, what we call the corn exchange and it's literally up there in your face because it screams house plants. It's like a, a, an amazing urban jungle. It is so pretty. They've got the largest variegated monstera outside. Like you go in and you just want to be able to stay there all day. Like I really wish they had like a little table and you can have like a coffee there. It was honestly, I love this shop so much. Anyway, it's really hard to pick a few plants, but I only picked two. And then the other one was a um, alocasia black velvet. So this is a three leaf cutting. So one, two, three, and then it's got like a new growth point coming here. So I just repotted this. Um, I've had it for a little while now, so we're all good to repot. 
but I, I really love it. I really hope that this one kind of stays with me. My friend Lily bought me the most incredible huge one um, for when my um, pig Igor died and it unfortunately didn't survive. I kept the bulb, so I'm gonna see because I think I received them. Um, I think he passed away. I think it was like the end of uh, the year. I think it was like October. Um, so I don't think it shipped very well, but I was really, really gutted. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad I've got one again because I really, really, really love this plant. Um, so yeah, it's it reminds me of the plant she bought me, which is really special. So I love this one and it's only a little one and this one cost £7.50. So yeah. So these next three I received today. I love them. Um, I got them all from the same seller on eBay and I bought from her before. I bought the... Um, it was the Carnosa Neon. It was the one that um, we, do, we don't know what it is. It was an import and it's like as neon as my neon potho. So it's really, really beautiful. So I knew she was a really good seller um, and I really, really like her, um, what she sells in her collection. So I've got like an alert, I think, on eBay whenever she puts something else up. Um, so I'll take out the Syngonium um, because he's just chilling in there. So we've got these two, um, Hoya. Um, I'm not going to attempt to say their names. Um, I know this is, this one's similar to, I think it says like a Burton, Burton A. I don't know. I'm going to put the name on the screen, but we'll go for this one first. Um, really beautiful, really, really succulent, thick leaves. Um, obviously this is quite, um, what's the word? Um, dehydrated um you can see from the back of the leaves that it is quite dehydrated you see how wrinkly they are um it was in the post for two days um it's not rooted that one and i prefer to get my hoya when they're not rooted i just personally think they will do better the root system's really delicate so i really like this one and i'm pretty sure you can sun stress this and it's very furry can you hear it <laughs> so cute um, and then I got this one and I'll put the name on the screen again um it's quite a a more normal looking Hoya you could say like I love like the leaf shape um they're very very dainty they're kind of got that like splash to them like the white like splashed variegation um really pretty kind of like glossy dark green leaves that does have some roots um which is cool um i again wouldn't have i don't know I, I don't mind when they're that small but when there's like a substantial root system i think there's more of a risk that they could um like rot through the post and stuff but yeah i really like these these are both going to sit here in this um water propagation bottle until they um root and then i will probably pot them up individually i've got um i've got a few pots like this size that i can use because i know hoya roots like to be quite snug um but yeah i'm really happy with those and um i think this one was um okay so i bought three i paid for postage three times but she refunded me two of them because obviously they came in the same thing um so i paid one pound 80 for postage which was good and i think i paid I think it was like five pound fifty for this one and then five pound for this one i think so yeah i'm really pleased with these two and then from the same seller i got a third plan um it's looking a bit sad because like i said i literally just got this today um so i got this this is a syngonium ice really really pretty quite a, a big leaf actually i've got a um a new one here new leaf here a new leaf coming there and then another one here um this does have a root system already um i don't want to get it out i actually probably shouldn't have used that it looks like a bit of a squeeze there's a root here um but yeah i might have to change this because if the roots get any bigger if i pull it out um it might snap it off you see it's a bit tight um but yeah i really like this syngonium it's really really pretty i've given them not like i have doubts from this seller but i've given them a good um check over but i haven't sprayed them yet because i like to do my provonto treatment um at the end of the day and they were in like postage they were postage for two or three days maybe even longer um so i didn't want to keep them in a box any longer than they needed to so they're out in like a dim area in the flat and then i will treat them tonight because you can't put provonto on and then kind of like expose them to light so i don't want to risk it so they're going to get treated tonight. So yeah, I'm going to treat them for um, thrips or any kind of like pest tonight, just so um, they can stay in the bathtub overnight and then I will move them back to their 
um, their spot wherever they're kind of quarantining for a couple of weeks and then they'll get moved to their forever homes. Um, but yeah, I like to do that with all of my new plants that I bring in the flat now. And then I am saving the very best to last. I am very happy about this. It, it comes with um, doubts and I'll explain that in a minute. But my number one wishlist plant for the last 18 months has been a philodendron golden dragon. So I saw this come up in the marketplace um, and I was in the gym at the time, um, obviously in the gym on marketplace as I do, um, but it was a Saturday morning and we tend to have like really slow Saturdays and we train with a friend. So it was just, we, we take our time, we could be in the gym for hours. So I was just having a break or something on marketplace, um, yada, yada, yada. And then I saw this for sale and I messaged him and I said, whereabouts are you located? Um, it looked like it was in a bit of a beaten up state. So I said, would you take five pound less for it? Um, he was like, yeah, absolutely. Um, and he said, I'm so-and-so street and which is literally two streets away from me. So I felt like it was meant to be. Um, but I got this philodendron, golden dragon. It is a big, big plant, like it's huge, which is why he wanted to get rid of it because he's in a flat um, or he's, he's a student or something. I can't remember, he was really nice. Um, but yeah, it's this amazing golden dragon. Um, it's got um, light variegation on it. You can't really see, it's more like so the young leaves. And then I started questioning if that was just like a deficiency. Um, I haven't really had a lot of time to um, really enjoy this plant just yet because I noticed when I picked it up and I'm really shy and I hate, I hate um, saying things, you know, when I, I, I saw this and I was just like, oh, it's fine, I'll, I'll fix it or something. I, I just remember being like, oh, I'll, just, I'll go home and I'll have a look at it. But the, the, the way that it was a super sunny day, so the, the sun was shining down and I could see holes everywhere, you know, like thrip damage, like holes. Um, and I don't think you can see it now. Um, but what I normally do to see if anything's had thrip is to shine a light through it. Um, but I didn't even need to do that. I could literally see evidence of thrip damage um so it's had a treatment it seems absolutely fine now i've been checking it a lot but it is trust me when i say it it is quarantined um i feel scared like it being near these plants at the moment but yeah it's quarantined um so fingers crossed it's fine it's been treated twice already um just as the requirements say um but yeah it's it's a big plant like it's like it's huge, it's wide. So that basically sits um, on my dressing table. And um, I love this picture so much. It's probably the thumbnail of this video, to be honest, um, but it's on my dressing table and it looks really, really good. And if I could keep it here, I would, but it's like next to, you've got my window, you've got a wardrobe, and then you've got like this dressing table. So it doesn't really, it doesn't get good light. So it can't stay there, but I love it in that position. Um, but yeah, this is my messy golden dragon. I'm hoping the um, the leaves come through when they're more um, mature, come through more like, you know, your golden dragon, like iconic leaf shape, you know, like this, like Batman. Um, but yeah, at the moment it's got two growth points and one of them looks a bit dodgy. It looks a bit crushed. Um, the other one looks fine. So yeah, that's the last one. So I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. What was your favourite plant that I bought recently? Um, I think all of these are, um, well, I feel like all of them need either rehab or they need like rooting because they're new cuttings apart from the enjoy. And I think that's why I find um, prices um, that are reasonable because I either have to do some work for the plant or it's so cheap, I expect it to come a bit damaged, a bit like the Dysidia. Um, But I'm really happy with everything here. I don't really have the, all the time in the world to kind of like rehab plants, but I find with the later evenings and like obviously the sun's up for longer here in the UK and the evenings are warmer and brighter, I feel like my days are longer. So I will literally go to work, I'll go to the gym, I'll come back, I'll do my normal thing, like catch up on whatever, I don't know, I've got loads of life admin to do and I still feel like I've got time to like take care of my plants and stuff so I feel like having this kind of like um project in the summer is 
absolutely fine. If this was in the winter, I would feel a bit overwhelmed with how many plants need like close care, you know? And I don't know if that makes any sense, but <laughs> that's how I think of it. And um, so yeah, I'm a massive, massive sucker for summer. I love summer. I love the brighter, longer days. So yeah, it's just my favorite thing to put some like nice like music on and to just chill out. Some nice like oil burning, everything in the flat is clean and just like attend to my plants. It's my favorite thing to do. And I've been doing it a lot recently. So I think that's why I'm really happy with my collection and where we're at with them. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to everyone for watching this and I will see you in the next one. Bye.